Cafe racers, brats, scramblers, trackers. If you're a fan of old school bikes, you're gonna love Mutt Motorcycles. For quite some time now, custom motorcycles that look like they traveled forward in time straight from your grandpa's garage have been all the rage in the riding community. I'm a fan of these throwback motorcycles myself. They're basic, raw, bare bones, and has a ton of character. Now it used to be that if you wanted a classic bike, you only had two choices. You either find an actual vintage and restore it, or you can customize a modern one to make it look like it's been around since before the internet was a thing. Either way, you needed to spend a lot of time, money, and effort if you wanted a bike that looks like it came straight out of the showroom floor back when your parents were still cool. Yeah, a lot of brands these days offer a retro or classic model of some sort, but they all tend to be in the mid to high end segments. If you're in the market for something a bit smaller, more economical, and still dependable, you might want to take a look at Mutt Motorcycles. Mutt Motorcycles was founded in Birmingham, England in the UK by Benny Thomas, one of the most recognized names in the British custom bike scene. In 2013, Benny, together with his partner Will Rigg, decided to build small displacement, vintage looking motorcycles that anyone can just jump on and start riding without all the hassle of getting busy with a grinder, welder, and sourcing aftermarket parts. Fast forward to today, Mutt Motorcycles line of 125 and 250cc bikes is finally here in the country. The one I'm reviewing right now is this, the Mutt GTSS 250. At first glance, you'd think this was a vintage BSA or maybe a Norton from the 1960s. You can't deny it has that classic British vibe a lot of custom bike enthusiasts go for. The GTSS 250 is powered by a four-stroke, single-cylinder, air-cooled Suzuki GN250 engine putting out a decent 21 horsepower and 18 newton meters of torque. It comes with a five-speed manual transmission, 18-inch spoke wheels paired with 120 tires in the front and 130 in the rear, standard non-adjustable forks and preload adjustable twin shocks, ABS, tracker-style handlebars, LED indicators, and a grilled halogen headlight. Seat height is just 780 millimeters or 30.7 inches, so you're not going to have any trouble getting on and off this bike. It's very approachable for just about anyone. True to its GT badge, this model also comes with a huge 17-liter tank, which is more than enough for your daily commute and rides out of town during the weekend. This bike was delivered to me by Mutt Motorcycles Philippines with a full tank of gas, and by the time I had to return the GTSS a week later, I haven't even used half of the tank. This thing is very fuel efficient. Now, as far as my experience with the GTSS is concerned, I would say I'm pretty impressed by it. I enjoyed the time I spent on the Mutt. It's a mellow bike that's more at home in the city than out on the open road. I don't think even beginners will have a hard time with a GT. As I mentioned earlier, the Mutt's Suzuki GN250 engine puts out decent controllable power that is easy to manage and fun to play with. Also, with the engine being a Suzuki, you're at least assured that this thing is bomb-proof and won't prematurely break down on you. The way this bike responds to your input isn't abrupt and aggressive at all. In fact, I don't think you can whiskey throttle this thing even if you tried. I'm not saying this bike is weak or anything. I mean, if you're coming from a scooter or a tiny 125 or maybe 150cc beginner bike, then yeah, you'll definitely feel a difference in how this thing pulls. I guess what I'm trying to say here is that the throttle and engine response is calm and manageable. You can shift early in the low rev range and you won't feel the engine judder or feel like it's going to die on you. Though I find that if you shift too early, there's barely any power and it'll take forever to accelerate. However, I have yet to lug the engine at low RPMs, which makes the GTSS a good bike to take in crowded city streets and slow moving traffic situations. The brakes are okay, they won't stop on a dime but they do the job. The front brake has a nice bite that you can feel, though the rear brake is almost non-existent. 
I like how easy it is to find neutral. I never found myself going from first gear, second gear, first gear, second gear, and then finally neutral. The shifter just clicks into place perfectly every time, so that's a plus for the mud. And another reason why beginners and even experienced riders will have a great time with this bike. One thing I did notice is that there's barely any engine brake whenever I would shift down from higher gears. I've had a couple of what the f moments in Marilake when I would downshift before going around a corner and instead of feeling the resistance of the engine, it felt like the bike was maintaining its speed. I don't know if that's just the review unit I had or what, but that was my experience. Another thing Mutt could improve on would be their headlight. They use old school halogen bulbs that match the overall look of the bike, but I find it very dim during evening runs. For the rest of the bike, I can't complain really. The seat is plush enough, not the softest, it's a bit on the firm side, but doesn't feel cheap. The stock suspension is also adequate. It's a bit on the soft side, but then again, this isn't a performance bike to begin with. It feels comfy as it cushions you over uneven roads and speed humps. Despite the short travel distance, its suspension never once bottomed out on me. The overall fit and finish of the GTSS 250 is likewise excellent. The welds are clean, there aren't any gaps, and none of the material they used felt cheap or flimsy. If there's one thing about the GTSS that stands out and feels like you're getting more than what you paid for, it's the exhaust. It looks very refined and well made. Sounds wonderful in person as well. It has a nice, full, throaty growl that you wouldn't expect from a single. Whether you're looking to upgrade and step up to the 250cc range or just looking for a great everyday bike that's fun to ride and economical to use, the Mutt GTSS 250 is a solid choice. While the price is a bit on the high side, I think this one runs for about 250k. I feel like with everything you're getting, bespoke looks, high quality components, a reliable engine, custom exhaust, the Mutt GTSS 250 is worth it. You'll end up spending somewhere around the same amount anyway restoring an old 150 or customizing a new one, so at least with a Mutt, it's already good as it is.